Hey everybody, it's Greg from Rev, uh, checking in again on uh, kickoff weekend. Um, we've had a little bit of time to uh, work on our two conveyor prototypes that we talked about during our live stream. Um, so I wanted to show two of them off to you. So the first one that we built, uh, this is a uh, polycord based one, and we use the Rev uh, polycord here. It's just, it comes in a roll, and there are little tiny barbs that allow you to join this so you can make these lengths any length you want and it's kind of sticky and has a pretty good you know friction on that but um, the purpose of this was just to kind of show um, a like what you could do for like a layer of belting so there's two different things here um, obviously you can put them on the top so and you can have them go um, that's good so that works okay um, but the really thing that we wanted to kind of look at here because that's just gonna fall off is kind of what happens when you pinch the, the disc in between the cord and just a flat material. We're just using cardboard. This whole weekend's all about just fast prototypes that you can do. Um, this frame's built out of just extrusion with a core hex motor. Um, there's not a lot here, but I, I'm gonna show you kind of what this can do. So. All right, so you can see that's pretty pretty steady. Um, there's a couple things here. Um, at low power, um, you know, they obviously don't move as smooth. And then with a type of system like this, you have to worry about kind of constant pressure in the middle. But um, what I do want to do is I want to turn this thing on full power, and uh, I'll show you this thing can actually put them out uh, pretty fast. And we're controlling this thing with a uh, expansion hub hooked to a computer. Uh, Max just off camera uh, controlling uh, this, so it's something you can do really easily. There's no programming involved here. So uh, Mac, you want to turn it on? All right, so that's nice and flat. So what I also now I want to take a look at is obviously if you're going to be doing this, the most likely scenario would be. Uh, your, this would be coming from some sort of intake up to some sort of shooter. So uh, we're going to kind of look at an angle. Um, this is probably close to 45 degrees. So. And we can go a little bit steeper. But I'd say that's a pretty good... Uh, first prototype that shows these are pretty easy to uh, convey. Um, so that's, that's this polycord prototype. Um, the next prototype uh, version of this that we, that we did, that we worked on, was um, more of our open style. And this open style, um, what we used for this is uh, we used timing belt. And um, we have this really cool little timing belt pulley system that allows you to build uh, your own pulleys to whatever width you want. So we have centers and end caps. Um, and because all of our belts are nine millimeters wide or increments of nine millimeters wide, um, that plays really nice so you can build some of these like fatter kind of center ones to run double belts on a single pulley. Um, what we found in prototyping um, we went and grabbed some of this timing belt, and it has a really nice coefficient of friction on the back of the belt for, this, for these. And so the nice thing is that this is a little bit more compact than the other one, um, and it's also a little bit easier to control. So I'm going to hook up a motor here. Um, and the other thing to point out with this prototype is that we used a chain, um, crossing chain on the bottom so that we're using one motor to drive both belts, but both belts are actually spinning opposite directions. So when this is in here, these rings are not spinning, they're just actually being conveyed. So um, Mac, do you wanna, you wanna turn this one on? All right. So as you can see, that one works really, really smooth. And I mean, this is 
because of the space and the size that this takes up, um, this is something that you should really easily be able to find because it is not much thicker than two, two uh, rings in thickness. So, um, and also, um, you're able to go almost straight vertical with this type of system. I mean, you probably can go straight vertical if you try. Um, I haven't tried this on camera, but you know, there is almost enough friction that without anything holding it in on the bottom, you can actually do them upside down. So this one, this is like what I would consider to be like an A-class quick prototype. I feel like we learned enough just playing around and building this thing in about an hour that this type of system will work for this year's game if you need to move rings around. And it's really just some timing belt pulleys and bearing mounts and pretty easy stuff. Um, we're using a piece of the uh, Coroplast, but I think that a piece of Lexan or cardboard or anything else that's kind of slippery in here will be pretty good. Um, we did not really have to play with um, the distance here much. Um, it seems pretty, because these rings are so flexible in general, it feels like the tolerances for how they can compress uh, don't really, didn't really matter that much. So we just kind of put it in, adjusted them, and it worked. So, Mac, you want to just turn that on again just for fun? So, so I could see this feeding to a shooter uh, as fast as your shooter could kick them out. So uh, we're going to move on to the next prototypes, uh, and we'll check back in a little bit later. Thanks.